Marcia Ayers Caesar is battling to be reinstated as a judge, a position from which she says she involuntarily resigned. She is suing the Judicial and Legal Service Commission and the President of Trinidad and Tobago with regard to this matter. Her case came up for its first hearing today at the Supreme Court in San Fernando. Mario Therese Bernard has the details. Marcia A. Caesar says her removal as a High Court judge is unlawful and unconstitutional as she was put under pressure to resign. On Thursday, her lawyer Ramesh Lawrence Mirage presented her case at the San Fernando Supreme Court. He explained what is at stake. The case involves a very important principle and that is why it can be regarded as a landmark decision or a landmark case. The case involves the issues concerning the independence of the judiciary and the security of tenure of judges. He said removing a judge from office is not as simple as has been made out. In the constitution of Trinidad and Tobago, the independence of the judiciary is guaranteed. And you would have heard that I read from section 137 of the constitution. So when a person is a judge and this person was sworn in as a judge, she started to function as a judge, she got an instrument, an instrument as a judge. So when a person is a judge, you cannot remove that person from office unless you follow a certain procedure. And it involves that issue and it involves an issue whether you can put pressure upon a judge to resign. And if the judge signs a resignation, is that a resignation in effect? For you to be removed from office. Mr. Miraj stated that his case turns on the idea of constructive dismissal. I've cited a case to show that even if you have person, a person who has resigned from his office in the private employment, but he was put under pressure to resign, that is a constructive dismissal. And so there's a principle of law known in the law as constructive dismissal or constructive removal from office. So that is why we are saying that even if um, in this case wrote a letter of resignation, and, uh, but its circumstances was, was such that she had various options which meant that she was put under pressure uh, to make that decision, it is a constructive dismissal. Mr. Miraj said he is asking that Marcia A. Caesar be reinstated and compensation be paid for the time period of the case. The attorneys for the Judicial and Legal Service Commission and the President have asked for time to make submissions and this was granted by the judge. The case will continue after the vacation period and a date for a decision in the case is to be presented in September. Mary Therese Bernard, C News. The Judicial and Legal Service Commission says it is in the process of updating all its annual reports and this will be completed before October 1, 2017. In a statement, the JLSC said it acknowledged that the annual reports in respect of the years 2008 through 2015 are outstanding. The JLSC said the omission was in fact brought to its attention by the Service Commission's department, which provides the Secretariat to assist all Service Commissions in preparation of reports. While the department was preparing the 2016 annual report in keeping with the provisions of Section 66C2 of the Constitution, the JLSC apologized to the Office of the President for the omission and assured that no disrespect was intended to His Excellency or to the Office of the President. Earlier this week, it was revealed that the JLSC had not submitted any reports to the Parliament since 2008.